Hello, Eric Clark here from the Quincy Tutor Network. What we have going on is a Fiverr video all about dividing fractions. So in previous videos, we talked about multiplying fractions, and we're going to use some of the same concepts and ideas here today in this particular video. So let's start with something relatively simple. So let's take one half divided by one fourth, right? So when we're adding fractions, we need to mess with the denominators. We need to make the denominators the same, but that's not the case when you're multiplying fractions. And there's a couple of ways that we can we can write this out. Um, but first, I just want to say, let's do this method first. The first method requires us to keep the first fraction the same, change the operation to multiplication, and then get the reciprocal of the second fraction. And remember, the reciprocal is taking the denominator or the numerator moving it to the denominator and the denominator moving it to the numerator. So we have one half times four over one. So this ends up being pretty simple. You go and use the rules for multipli multiplying fractions. You multiply the numerator by the numerator, which gives you four. Multiply denominator by denominator, which gives you two. Four divided by two is two. Okay, let's try something a bit more complex. Let's take three-eighths divided by, we'll say, uh, one-half. Okay, not too complicated, not too difficult, um, but if we go and keep the first fraction the same, we'll have three over eight, change the multiplication, and then we find the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is two over one. So this could be simplified pre or post multiplying, but we'll just go ahead and multiply first. So you multiply numerator by numerator, so it's 6 over 8. There's a common factor of 2 in both the numerator and the denominator, so this simplifies to 3 over 4. Now if I wanted to simplify pre-multiplication, I look at these two pieces of the fraction, the numerator and the denominator, and I realize that there's a factor of 2 in both, so 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4, then I'm left with 3 times 1, which is 3, 4 times 1 is 4, so 3 over 4. Same thing. Alright, if you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us on Twitter at this handle. And you can also find us on Fiverr if you want a video of your own or if you have additional um, questions regarding some of the concepts that you see. Anyway, hope this video was helpful. And remember, we never divide fractions. We always multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction.